are going to do a small little hike. I forget the location, but I'll confirm it in. So we took the bus and now I'm going to take the train. Um, the hike is about 45 minutes. This is the first day that it hasn't rained yet in Oslo. Um, so we'll show you the, what, what, what is over there at the hike. A train will be here in one minute. Oslo's not a big city. Everything is within walking distance except for this hiking place. Sabrina, can you say that name again? I forgot. Sons van. Sons van. Oh, duckies. Wait, we have arrived. We're starting a hike. This place must look really beautiful like in the summertime. All the greens. Again, no sun today. No, it's just already set. It already <laughs> set. Yep, it's been setting. Five hour trek, 45, 45 minutes, hours. 45 minutes, but it would take us, me a little bit longer than the rest. Look at this beautiful falls. Ooh. brave enough to be sitting on it and then we look down that way to the city um, it's foggy it's dark so you can't really see the city but it's a beautiful hike now we're going down not my best not my um, strong heart going down is more of a struggle than coming up here for me Walk tight, <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, Saturday, November 5th. We are leaving back to the United States tomorrow. It's sad, I know. All these faces are really <laughs> sad. Um, uh, we are waiting for a bus to go to the Oslo Fjord. It's like a boat ride to see the fjord. It's a smaller one. Um, all the bigger one that we wanted is like six hour drive away. But next time when we come to Norway, we're definitely going up north to see the um, northern lights and everything. And I have to say my favorite part of um, Oslo is the Oslo street food. We go in and it's like bam, all the food in your face. I love that. Like Fenuel Hall. Yes. <laughs> but it's like, it's like, it's like lit, it's like hyped. So we are waiting for a train. It's about a 14 minute train, a bus ride. One of these things. It's this Carlton. one. This one. Carlton of Jamla. Alright, we'll see you at the shore. Alright, we have arrived. We gotta figure out which pier. We need to get, get into our boat. Um, there's a little shopping center over here. Elise and Anna just went in. And it is kind of, okay, right now the, it's lighter. <clears throat> it is chilly. And it is gloomy. That's how it's been for the last four days here in Oslo. But it is beautiful. People here are so nice. People here are so environmentally alert. They recycle everything. They uh, preserve everything. They, you know, turn off the light. They don't overuse, like, you know, water and stuff like that. Um, they really care about the environment, and that's what I really love. And they're all about self-love, self-worth. Um, it's just such a... It's, it, it is one of the most happiest country in the world. 
So during this trip, we actually hit two countries that made it on that um, list. Switzerland is one of them, and Norway is one of them. Um, these two countries are on the list as being the happiest country in the world. Number one right now is Finland. We met a girl named Mari uh, from Finland yesterday. She's so cute. She's um, Sabrina's friend. Um, we had dinner with her at Sabrina's place yesterday. And she's from Finland and um, she's just so smart, so bright, so driven. Um, just like Sabrina. Sabrina, oh my gosh, that girl is like a go-getter. She know what she wants. And um, it's amazing. And uh, she made some great friends here. <clears throat> All right, in a little bit, we're gonna get on one of those boats. A yacht or whatever. We are getting on the boat cruise. It's gonna be a two hours cruise. And then after, we're gonna go jump into cold water and then in the sauna. Ooh. I need a life jacket for that. Yep. We thought it's one of those things where we can jump together and hold each other's hand, but I think this one I'll need a jacket on, on my own. Hey! Uh-oh. Mm. Let's stay, let's start being outside. Oh, it's wet. It's wet. Look at these cute little houses. Maybe their boating equipment, no? So we um, transition into the inside part of the boat now. Um, so I guess a fjord is only found in Iceland and Norway. It's seawater. Um, hold on. So again, this is per Google. A uh, long, narrow, deep inlet of the sea between high cliffs and it's found in Norway and Iceland, typically formed by submersions of a glaciated valley. Um, this fjord is pretty big. It is one of the smaller ones in Norway, but it's huge. Oh, look at the little house on the island. I love those little houses on the island. I know. Um, this, this boat has two floors, some people sitting outside, downstairs. We're on the lower, low, lower section. Oh, the island. Let's see. Yeah, because the weather is kind of cloudy and then it's like fall. So um, it's, it's really gloomy in the video, but I bet your summertime are beautiful here. Um, some of those houses are summer houses for the people that live in the mainland. That's nice. They're preserving the you know environment for the birds. It's bird I'm island. telling you, they're all about the environment here, which is awesome. You know, that way, human can live, animals can live. That's how it should be. 
We need to protect the environment. I don't care what anybody says. Um, there's actually houses over there. But I don't think the film did a good job capturing it. Oh, crude oil. Crude oil is Norway's biggest export. Mm -hmm. Yes. I feel like Norway is as expensive, if not a little bit more than Switzerland. Schools and university in Norway are free and they do have universal health care. Universal health care and free schools and university. That is amazing. Now, this is a country that really thinks about its people. It's like Bhutan in Asia. We have arrived to um, KOK floating sauna, guys. So uh, we can jump in this water here that's 11 degrees. <laughs> um, and then we go in the sauna we can add wood to the sauna uh, we're gonna be here for about two hours uh, I am scared I asked him for a life jacket because of course I would be that person that can't swim trying to do water activity it's already freezing this is not my cup of tea but I will do it for the team so they have this little room here it's heated you change you leave your stuff here and then um, the sauna is this way. And then we're gonna jump into the cold water right over here. I'm waiting for my life jacket <laughs> to jump. That would be me. Oh, right. Someone is definitely more brave than me. Go. We were sitting in the sauna. Oh! <laughs> oh, wait, is it cold? It's salt water. It's salt water? Yeah, I thought it was fresh. Why would you think it's fresh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Three. I bet that we got it. Two. One. Four. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 I got a good one of you guys jumping in. <laughs> okay. All right, here we are with a life jacket. Woohoo! Okay. Okay. Oh. Can you stay around? Yeah. Where are we here? Go, go, go. Uh, I'm, it's on. Go. Stop. Go. Yeah, no, we got you back. Don't worry. That thing will float and surface you back yeah. up. Will you go with me? Okay. One, two, three. Stop. Stop. <laughs> All right. Okay, right. <laughs> I swallowed. Yeah. I swallowed. Oh, oh my gosh. That would be all for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Okay. I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get me back in there. Hey, these brave people. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Can you help me? Okay, yeah, of course. I'm not as tall as you. Hi. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh. oh. Well, the water splashed at me. Okay. I gotta. Okay, go. You gotta get out of the way. Huh? Oh my God! Man, I'm floating. Huh? Go. Whoa. Ooh, that was a beautiful jump. Everybody else that jumped in. So this is how much I get to. Ooh. Ooh. You guys, it's cold. It's 11 degrees in here. Ooh. 11 okay, degree is beautiful. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Look, careful. finally some daylight. Oh, there's the sun. We haven't seen the sun in five days. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I'm the first one done. All them young people are still sitting in the sauna. Maybe they're going to jump again from the roof. Are you jumping again? This is a floating sauna. They were next to us, but then of course, you know, this one, you pay a little bit more money, 
you go into the middle of the fjord, swim, and it has a sauna inside as well. And ours is just the, this one here. Okay, okay, sauna. And the monk museum is right there. We didn't go there. And today is sunny. I catch the train back. There's the mall of Oslo. And look at this cute, this amazing statue of the tiger. Today is Saturday. So a lot of people are out and about. Oh, something's going on over there in that street. <laughs> Bo, look it. At least. The sun finally decided to come out on our last day. Well, our last day is tomorrow, but we leave pretty early in the morning. Look at that busy street, Elise. We're at Oslo Street Food. I came to Buddha Ramen again because the soup here was so delicious, the ramen. And I guess uh, Friday and Saturday night, uh, Oslo Street Food gets lit. They're gonna shut everything down and turn this into a club. Oh, here's a DJ up here. Look at the DJ up here. <laughs> and we're getting uh, mini burgers for Elise because she would like something melt with melted cheese. Oh, Oslo street food is getting lit. I may or may not come back to join the fun just because <laughs> I am so pooped. Iceland, which takes about three hours, two hour layover lay over there, and then another five hour and 45 minutes to Boston. So we will land in Boston on Sunday, November 6th, uh, probably around like 5.30 p.m. And um, Europe has been wonderful, Iceland has been wonderful. Um, what I like about, not Iceland, I'm sorry, Norway. Um, Norway, as I mentioned in the prior video, they have universal health care. People here care about the environment. They recycle everything. They reuse everything. You know, they turn off the light when they're not in use. It's, it's just amazing over here. Um, food in Norway, though, it's, to me, it's not so great. We love Switzerland. We love food in um, <coughs> Italy and France. But um, <clears throat> I can't wait to go back and, you know, eat a bowl of um, Khmer noodle soup. Um, during this trip, about a week ago, um, my aunt Omsui in Cambodia have uh, passed away, and you know I, I I wasn't sure whether or not I want to share it on you know on on YouTube, um, but she had passed away. I've been in contact with my family in Cambodia, so um, our next trip when I'm going back with my dad, which is probably uh, April of 2023. The only thing we're gonna be missing is my aunt, my aunt, but um, she's now at peace. Uh, in the prior videos of my Cambodia trip, you've probably seen her. She's a very skinny lady. She's my dad's oldest sibling that survived the Khmer Rouge regime. Um, she did pass during our trip here, but I checked up on my dad a lot and on my family a lot. So it's kind of personal, but you know, when you, for those of you who followed my Cambodia trip, you're gonna be like, oh, where's your aunt, where's your aunt? But this is now um, the time I feel like I should, you know, open up to you guys that she have passed. So in future videos, um, in my future visit, you won't be seeing her in the video. But um, they did a beautiful ceremony for her. The whole village came and got together and was so helpful. They gave her a very beautiful send off. Um, she was surrounded by all her loved ones. So that's wrapping up my Europe trip. All right, see you in the next trip.